Welcome to the PDR Sports Webcast. I'm sports reporter Kevin Morales alongside sports editor Travis Uslett. And Travis, along with the opening of the fall season, there's a lot more than football going on. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Portage's volleyball team? Well, Kevin, the uh, Portage Warriors uh, actually open up on Tuesday night against uh, Sauk Prairie. It's not their true opener. They uh, were in action over the weekend at Whitewater in the tournament, but uh, their conference opener is Tuesday night against Sauk Prairie. Uh, the Eagles actually uh, were last year's co-champs. Uh, they tied with Wanda Key at 11-1, and so it should be a tough test right out of the gate. Um, I think Portage probably wants to be the Sauk Prairie of last year, kind of the team that sneaks up on everyone and uh, is able to compete for a conference title, so we'll see how that works out. Um, Another interesting note with the volleyball team will be uh, Mackenzie Ziegler, their big-time junior middle hitter. She was actually uh, out of action over the weekend in Whitewater with uh, an ankle injury that she suffered in practice the previous week. Uh, Joanne Armson felt confident that she will be uh, able to go on Tuesday. They kind of held her out last week just as a precaution, so if she's out there, it should be an interesting uh, start for the uh, Warriors. Um, with you, Kevin, last week, I understand you had a couple of interesting football games you covered. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Uh, Thursday was the uh, first day of local prep football in the area. Um, I was over at Ryo for the Stockbridge at Ryo season opener. Uh, first of all, the game was delayed 15 minutes just because Stockbridge apparently was having some trouble with the bus or something like that. Um, and then once the game got started, uh, it was pretty much over right from the start. Ryo scored three times in the first two and a half minutes. Um, Stockbridge fumbled the opening kickoff. Ryle recovered, scored like nine seconds later, something like that. Two more fumbles and two more scores. And uh, next thing you know, it's a 58-6 uh, 50, to six game um, in Ryle's favor. So um, the Vikings picking up where they left off last season, where they won their first conference championship since 1969. Uh, Friday was kind of the opposite. Um, again, there was a delay. Um, I was in uh, Montello for the Westfield at Montello Princeton Green Lake game. There was about an hour delay. Uh, some wicked thunderstorms came through the area and postponed a lot of the prep games in uh, South Central Wisconsin. Once it got going, um, the Phoenix scored two quick touchdowns in the first quarter. Matt Sosinski had uh, two touchdowns from Jake Lunau through the air. But Westfield kept plugging away, touchdown here and a touchdown there. And Nick Grant, uh, Westfield's starting tailback, ended up scoring the game winner with one second left. So it was a crazy game. Um, everybody in the crowd was uh, either really, really happy or just distraught and couldn't believe that they let that one slip through their hands. So great way to start off the, uh, the prep season. Um, Travis, again, um, this is just week one for football, and what are you looking forward to uh, in the coming week? Well, first of all, on Saturday is the uh, much-anticipated uh, Badger football opener. Uh, the Badgers actually open up uh, Saturday night at 6 p.m. kickoff against Northern Illinois. Uh, Northern Illinois is kind of interesting to uh, local fans because uh, former Partyville athlete Reed Cunningham is uh, one of the tight ends on uh, Northern Illinois squad. Actually, two years ago when uh, Northern Illinois came to Camp Randall, Reed was on the team, but he had an ankle injury and was unable to play. So I'm sure he's going to be excited to uh, get on the field against the Badgers in his home state. Also for the Badgers, uh, the fans got to be uh, looking forward to the debut of their kind of their two-headed quarterback. Um, last week, the Badgers announced that they basically have co-starters at the position. Uh, Kurt Phillips, the freshman, he's kind of a playmaker with his legs, is going to see time. But uh, it sounds like maybe Scott Tolzien is going to be the, uh, the the main guy that at least gets the start of the game uh, under center. Um, high school-wise on Friday, there's a full slate of action going on again. Uh, Portage, who uh, lost to Stoughton last uh, week, will be looking to get their first win in their home opener. Uh, Madison Edgewood comes to town. Other games, uh, Almond Bancroft will play uh, the Montello Princeton Green Lake Co op. Um, Edgerton will be in Ryo. Uh, Cambria Friesland is, is going to Marshall to play. Um, Lodi will play the defending state champs in Division Four at Watoma. Uh, another interesting game, uh, Randolph at Partyville. That could be a really good one. I think a lot of people will be looking forward to see that one. Um, the, uh, another uh, interesting battle out there is Westby at Westfield. And uh, one more game that's kind of got local fans uh, can keep an eye on are Wisconsin Dells uh, at Poinette. And Poinette was very impressive with their season opening win. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens there. Other uh, action uh, on Thursday, actually, is uh, Porridge's cross-country opener. Uh, they will be in action at DeForest. I believe the start time for the race is about 4 p.m. And, uh, the, uh, of course, the Porridge boys are coming off a uh, trip to state. So I'm sure they're going to be looking forward to uh, getting back out there. Um, at this time, we'd like to kind of start a new feature with our weekly webcast, and uh, 
Kevin's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we'd like to start doing a Portage Daily Register Sports Athlete of the Week. And this first week, we'd like to award uh, Nick Grant from Westfield, who, as I mentioned before, scored that game-winning touchdown. Uh, one second left in Westfield's 20-13 to win over Montello, Princeton, Green Lake. We're just going to have to start calling them MPGL or something like that because it takes up too much time. But congratulations to Nick. Um, a close runner-up was Derek Johnsrud from the Ryle Fall River cross-country team, who took first at the... Westfield Pioneer invite last Thursday. So congratulations to both those athletes. Uh, that's about all the time we have here. For Travis, I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining us.